Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. I'm not Filipino size. Um, <laughs> this is an interesting one because there's something people don't even think about. Most clothes in the Philippines will not fit a expat. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a slim guy, but at the same time, I have a very broad neck anyway. A Filipino shirt will not button on me. Um, also, my arms are quite uh, broad because for most of my, probably since I was about 15 till I was about 34, I still did weights. So I have huge forearms. Um, so shirts don't fit me but also filipino size even if it's you know um 3xl it's like a medium or something but also they taper them like that so you get a shirt and you're like my god this is so tight because even if it's the right size the shape is wrong uh not to filipinos though um i will say though there are the Filipinos are getting fatter, so there is more stuff coming along because um, obviously the diet's improving or not improving, <laughs> however you want to say it. Uh, more junk getting into the diet, should we say. Um, so from that point of view, shirts and shirts can be a problem. Shorts um, are easy enough to come by, um, but I generally wear cargo shorts because I like the pockets on them. Um, also the lightweight and comfortable but if you're buying shorts be aware they can be quite expensive now what I, the reason I say this is I'm not sure how what people's budgets are like but I mean I've got some shorts that cost me like 3,000 pesos um, and the other thing with those is the reason I go for those is they're uh, for the American market which means they're a bit broader at the bottom because uh, often they're too tight for my legs um, especially if we get longer shorts it can be a pain and the reason I'm bringing all this up is you might think I'm just gonna go and buy this from the mall or whatever not everything will fit you and that's why it's worth trying stuff on first now another bit of good advice um, Gisano do these shirts called guitar shirts guitar shirts are a brand um, they're normally wearing his undershirts for um, the traditional Filipino shirt, uh, which the name has just slipped my mind. Um, uh, the sarong, I think it is. No, it's not sarong. Um, it slipped my head. But basically, you have a patterned shirt, you know, with all the stitching and everything. Well, these guitar shirts normally fit under them because um, otherwise you, they'd be see through. <laughs> They're great shirts. Um, I have at least 16 to 20 of those. Um, why do I like them? Firstly, they're only about 100 pesos. Um, so when they do get burned with the sun or bleaching with the uh, laundry woman going a bit excessive, I don't care. Because all I do is I go uh, throw it in the bin and buy another one. Um, they're very light, which means you sweat less. Um, size wise they go from they've got everything you know some of them are huge because obviously these are more formal and to be honest a lot of the people that are in positions of authority are not underweight so as such there's a broader size scale but where you want to be careful is with things like the Asian branded stuff uh, bench for example um, because the, the, they're a Filipino brand in case you're not aware but bench their jeans you will find will, might be a bit tight on your legs try this stuff on because you're going to struggle to find some of this stuff to fit but at the same time shopping around you'll, you'll eventually find things but a lot of stuff in the malls I can't get to fit me um, I can't get a dress shirt my shirts uh, I'm thankful there's Marks and Spencers in Cebu now <laughs> because that's where I buy all my shirts. Um, it's one of the few places I can buy shirts unless I had them made for me, which is another thing. You can get t-shirts and everything made for you. Um, I do have a very good tailor um, who does does my suits and stuff as well. Um, reasonable cost, 
and worth worth having a look at if you do actually want something made. But don't think cheap, cheap, because he ain't cheap. Um, he, he's reasonable. Uh, I can't remember how much I paid. I think maybe about 20,000 pesos for two suits and about five pairs of trousers, etc., which is dirt cheap compared to the UK, especially when it's all handmade for you. Um, and it was to the designs I wanted um, because the same, the same suit just for one of those uh, comes in at 999 pounds. Um, and I got the same suit made for the 20,000 with the, with the, all the bells and whistles and extra pairs of trousers, etc. Um, so yeah, be aware you're not Filipino size. And if you're like me, that's got hobbit feet, um, you might also find shoes can be a little bit difficult. Uh, cause a lot of them I've got that thin, um, shape. UK's gone the same as well though. Um, I mean, when I got my new Clark shoes, uh, at the start of last year, it, it, it crippled my feet for like a month. Um, cause they've gone for the, this is super long shape. I don't know, don't know where people are getting these feet. Cause I never used to have this problem. Some of this, some has changed in the market in the last few years, but anyway, just be aware of it. You're not Filipino size as such. Might be worth asking your partner before you go there, if you're going to be buying stuff there, where's good to buy clothes that are a foreigner size. All right, thanks for watching.